Hello everyone, this is Just Trying to Play It. We are here today with Recycling Center Simulator. Now, I played a little bit of this game before and I fell in love with it. I did not play the demo, but I played it when it first came out, thought it was great, decided to put it on the channel. So we're going to do a new game. Yes, it's going to delete my old one. Now, devs, I wish you would come up with a way for us to have multiple saves. Uh, one save is not enough. Sometimes we want to experiment. Sometimes we don't. But, you know, one save is really not enough. But if that's the way that we get to play the game, then so be it. Okay? So, we're going to follow the tutorial until we can't anymore. Until the tutorial ends. So, let's just jump into it. We're going to go ahead. And I'm going to build this this way. And I want a little bit of space on the side in case I need to walk over there. So, there we have it. To gather scrap, open your computer to find suitable scrap deals and negotiate with the owner to lower the price. You can only have one active deal at a time. I guess that's just right now. So, scrap deals. Looks like we're gonna do this for, they're asking for 120. We have three days to get it. It's 50 kilograms of waste and it's 20% of everything. I have to admit, when I saw this, I didn't, I, I figured, okay, this was the one time that it was ever going to be this even, which I was so right, because, oh my God, you know, now, I'm not going to nickel and dime these people, in all honesty, what you're paying is well worth it, um, you're going to get more than that, so we're just going to go ahead for, for shits and giggles, we're going to offer them a little bit less, that's fine, her bucks is ours. Now we get the privilege of going to the area and doing all of their cleaning for them, which is basically what we're doing anyway. We're paying them to go clean their crap. Now, in what world other than ours is that really a thing? You know, we're paying someone else to go and clean their stuff. It's, it's absolutely nuts. Okay, so we're picking everything up. It's all going into our garbage bags, which is wonderful. Now our bag is full. Spit it out. Okay, I'm going to grab that before. Regular little black little contractor's bag. Chuck it in there. Okay, there we go. Now we want to grab a big waist, which is one of these, and chuck it in there. And then we gather all the waste to increase our profit. Now... The game says that because you technically don't have to grab everything. Um, if we grab everything, I believe our reputation goes up. We get like reputation points and such, which will help obviously our reputation level. So that also helps us have access to other things, including better equipment. So I try my best to get everything that they say we can get in here. And then later on decide on whether or not we want to keep it or not. Usually we do. Um, I, I don't turn down anything because I just feel like there's no point. We're paying for all of it. Let's just grab all of it. And one more item fits there. Chuck that over there. And I, I'm interested to see like all the different things they actually have over here. There's some small versions of things there's some big versions of things like this here there's a bigger version of it i believe there's big little there's little animals i mean not animals little you saw the little robot you know little toys things like that was that barrel still moving i think it was so we chuck all this in there as you can see the panel on the left uh corner upper corner goes up based on what we're shoving in there which I think is a wonderful mechanic you know considering it remembers all of that I don't know the level of programming that needed to be done for that but I appreciate it you know I really do and I tell people that all the time you know I appreciate the fact that other people are able to do things like that for my enjoyment and pleasure now everything is green we've gathered everything in this case they want us to go back to the factory so we will do so let us go to the factory we will unload 
all of our waste, chuck it on the conveyor over here. It would be nice. Now, they want us to start the sorting machine now. I'm going to wait until I get everything out of here first. Um, I made that. It's kind of a mistake to me to do it early because you're going to have to come back, do it again, come back, do it again. Yeah. So we're just going to chuck everything in here now so we can just get it all over and done with. Now, I did say I was going to follow the tutorial. In this case, I'm not yet. Um, I'm going to wait until I'm doing what I'm doing. And the last item here, I think that's considered metal. No, it's glass. You see the highlight there. Okay. So we go here. And now we have all of our waste coming this way. It highlights as you choose it, which is absolutely great. Because I'm telling you right now, if it wasn't for that, this stuff would have ended up in so many different wrong places that it would not have even been funny. You know, some of it's obvious. Like, yes, I know that's paper. But do I remember that paper is blue? Do I remember that yellow is, you know, plastic? Green is glass? I probably won't remember that in the first beginning. So I would have made so many mistakes. I mean, I still did, but it would have been a lot more. Trust me. So we just take our time. The one thing about this is there is no rush. Now you can play a little game or whatever and try to see if you can do it before it all accumulates to the bottom. Nine times out of ten, you won't. Um, this is a small amount of stuff. And even so, I mean, I'm going okay at an okay pace. But it still probably would have uh, accumulated at the bottom regardless of how fast I was going. Um, sometimes, even if you, if you, you would have to miss, not misclick, not once. And I know I'm going to misclick. So there we go. We did 100%. Because of us doing this is what I noticed, and it tells you that. We got bonus scrap, so normally we would have had 55.5. Instead, we got 58.2, which you say, oh, that's not that much of a difference. It kind of is, uh, especially when you really need things. It really is a, um, a wonderful bonus that it gives you. And then if you think about it, you know, I mean, it's a small, what, not even 10%, maybe 5% extra, but it still is something, you know. And then if you think about it, 5% extra each trip, you know, it adds up a lot. And we were only picking up about 50 kilograms, you know, of waste. So, you know, it's just one of those things. So now they want us to look here. There's only one thing we can do. Now, we only have 11 of these things but I noticed each run like I tried to see what the highest we can do each one you can do a hundred kilograms now do we want to just do what we have in there or what I figure I was gonna let it run a hundred of them and call it a day what that does is every time I put something in here it's gonna add up to a hundred and then stop it unless I have other things producing so I figured just let it run the hundred and you know that's it it doesn't tell you uh, how much um, to do so it's like forget it you know just do however much you want and call it a day now I probably play this game a little different than other people and you may see uh, sooner rather than later what I mean um, but I don't the game is is teaching us obviously what to do and sometimes what you know doesn't teach you what not to do because trust me I've done some things the game has not allowed me to do. Um, but I do like the fact that over here, it does not notice what you have unless it's on a pallet. As you can see, we're putting scrap over here. It's not even recognizing the scrap. So, you know, I'm, I'm good with it. I, I think it's okay. I mean, I don't have a problem with that. Uh, the scrap, however, is taking up a little space. I would have left it over here until it told me that either it was full or I needed it to, you know, make some other stuff or whatever. But that's, you know, it's it's showing us what it wants to show us. So we take the last one and we put it over here. G helps me place it the way I want to place it. Let me just say I am so happy that this is a never-ending pile of pallets. Because, dude, if you had to pay for pallets... 
oh my god how much money would you really be spending on that you know you would spend so much money just on pallets it is not even funny okay so now we have to it took me a while and i'm not even gonna lie to get used to this pallet jack uh the way that it is but it has been my godsend to be honest with you um it, it has been great okay now what this is telling me is we don't recognize how much we have in our storage until it's in storage we don't know how much we're working with until it's in storage so that's one thing to think about and then that means we can't sell it unless it's in storage it can have freshly come out of the machine doesn't matter okay now we want to find the best market uh, offer they replenish once per hour so this one is the best one Calum's offer as you can see Monique is really lowball and stuff Cheyenne is obviously in the, drinking the same crap that Monique is drinking so I don't know what they're doing but Calum's offer is the best Maria's offer is second best but we'll take Calum's offer and make that sale uh, to fulfill high value orders open your computer click the contracts button to find customer demands for recycled materials contracts have time limits yes they do so if we go to contracts we do have someone who needs 10 press paper okay we could do that that might not be a bad thing um, so that means you know we have seven days left now I'm gonna tell you right now as I was playing this game, I did not see it last. I did not see seven days on any of this other stuff. But obviously, this is the tutorial part, so let's just keep that in mind, people. So let's negotiate this. You said, okay, so I didn't realize that I had paused <laughs> as I was doing the game. Uh, I got so engulfed in it, I didn't realize what I was doing. Um... I had already gone to pick up some uh, items from, well, some of the waste from uh, a couple of the deals that we made, and we're now at the last one. So I do apologize for that, everyone. It was my oversight um, because my hot buttons for my recording software is the buttons, unfortunately, that I use a lot to enter numbers. Um, so I probably need to change that so that I am a little bit uh better at that it's just easier for me to remember what i used and that's my fault um so anyway this is the last bag hopefully there we go so we have picked up all four of the deals that we made uh earlier so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to return to the factory uh, I promise the next video will not have this many mistakes, but I am so sorry. Now, he's going to come help us. I'm going to give him a little help um, just because it'll just be, you know, it, 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 it'll help a little bit. And then that's a little, that's a little help as I'm going to give him. And we're going to go over here and look at contracts. Now, the reason why I did what I did was because of this. When I go to contracts, yes, I see what they already have available. But in order for me not to stress myself out so much and to try and hurry up and see if I can find the, the items, why don't I go get the items first and then see what contracts I can fill? I just think that makes more sense, don't you? And for me, it's okay if, you know, like if you can't fulfill it, obviously you either got to get the money back or something like that. But I'm okay with waiting until the evening time to go do it. I go get every scrap that these people have available. I don't sit there and mess around with these people. You know, it's like you have something that I need. I need to get it. You know, so at the same time, it's like, so at the same time, you know, it's like I need to be able to pick up those items that you have available and because of that i'm going to grab everything that's there because i don't know what's coming up like i don't know what's coming up in the future for these things so that's why i try to grab all of the stuff that's here 
uh, I got that contract. We're going to go after this contract also. And I'm going to start off with that. And I probably can't get all that because my reputation is not there. You know, but I'm going to try it. You're dark. You're darn right, I'm going to try. See, 450 for that one. And those little extras basically is to cover how much I spent. You know, now what I'll do is, he's still not done. What I'll do is I'll go over here and I'll do it again. I'll do this. This goes up to 100. That's max. And I'll do it. And then when I start putting stuff in it, I'll let it run. Now, in the beginning, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, do all of this up here uh, for a while, at least for a few reputation levels. Um, and then when we get to getting so much stuff in, we're going to start letting uh, our guys do it. Because I don't see any problem with doing that. But we're going to do it and milk it for all we can get out of it. And then we'll go ahead and start. Um, now we should have a ton of paper and uh, glass because of the, the items that we agreed upon. There should be some wood, some metal, some plastic, but there should be a ton of paper and glass. But anyway, you know, these guys are quicker at this. Like they would have been done already. You know, I just want to be able to do it for a little bit. And just kind of see how much extra we get. Is it really worth it for us to do it? You know, all the time. Or should we switch? Should we swap? You know, my thing is, is every now and then I'm going to let them do it anyway. So it's not even a question. Yeah, I dropped that. And this is really just the relaxing part to it. There is no... Um, there is no penalty for not doing it in a certain period of time. Uh, there's no, you know, no nothing, no, you know, no consequences for not doing it in a period of time. Um, either you make, you get some extra or you don't. I don't worry about the combos either. I just put stuff in. Because I really don't understand them and how they work. I tried to, you know, and I felt maybe I wasn't quick enough. Or, you know, and that's what I think is based off of, how quick I am with it. But at the same time, I don't care. So we're just going to do as much of this as possible until we get tired of doing it or it makes no sense to do it, whichever comes first. And you notice the different things that you see in here. I mean, you're going to see a lot of the same things. Uh, newspapers, uh, boxes, uh, magazines, you know, the fire extinguisher, which makes, you know, stupid sense, <laughs> you know, and then glasses, bottles, uh, milk cartons, you know, you see all of the same stuff at each place almost. Some of it, you're like, well, how did it get there? Uh, you never know, you know, you just never know. Yeah, we're getting some of these, the bigger items coming through now. Looks like we're almost finished. It looks like he's done loading. So we won't have any extra items coming in. We just have to finish the ones that we got. Now, you can turn on your flashlight here, which is good. And then you can now see what you're doing. Even without the flashlight, you should be okay. But I'll turn it on. This is actually, like I said, it's a little therapeutic. It takes a little while. This is one of the reasons why I might not do this as often. Uh, but for right now, we're going to finish this out, and then I'm going to bring you back when I'm done with this. All right, we're back with our last couple of items. See, I almost didn't see that. There we go. We have 100%. We got 3.2 kilograms extra. 
is that enough? You know what I'm saying? This That's less than 3%. So is that enough of, you know, is it worth it for us to do that? I don't know because I don't understand the combo. Next time I might have him do it. We're not going to get any bonuses, but it's fine. You know, okay, so what am I doing? What am I doing? I am grabbing, I have 53.5 kilograms of this. So we're going to go ahead and take this and put it in there. And then we're going to grab the plastic because we do have a plastic order. So we've got 40 total kilograms to get, which we should be able to fulfill those. And then 48 grams of the plastic. Now, do we have enough of that? No. So we've only got 32 of the plastic right now. But the key is we have time. Okay. So now what do we do? We're going to take our pallets and stack these bad boys now one thing I had worried about was if I had too much on one pallet would they uh, take it from that pallet or you know would would the whole pallet be gone or would they just take what they needed and then just move on like that it turns out that they only take what they need they don't take everything off of the pallet uh, so I'm happy with that. Now you could have some pallets that have a little bit here, a little bit there. You can always consolidate those later. But it's, I I like it the way that they do it, honestly. So it, it just makes sense to me. Um, but I was concerned about that, you know, because it, it did seem like, you know, we were going to have uh, some problems you know put you over there now let me move this palette I shouldn't even put it that close this mechanic has to be the best mechanic ever you know it has to be I mean it's just so simple and easy to do now to cut it off is E I think and now we have another palette let's grab it take it it's great now would I sit up here and just make random stuff maybe I'm not saying that it's it's not you know fun to do but mostly what how I'm gonna play the game is the way I said I'm gonna do a hundred of these to start off with with every material that I can possibly do and then I'm going to find contracts for them. Now, obviously, I might have contracts that might add up to more than 100. You know, but in that case, then I'll do contracts for the rest. Um, I'm not worried about all of that because I don't want to get rid of too much. Now, I want to see in the marketplace uh, how those deals get better because I didn't do that when I was playing uh, before. I didn't even bother with the marketplace because for me, the contracts was where it was. That's where the most, okay, I shouldn't, I, I didn't maneuver that correctly. But the contracts was where the money was for me. So I was like, why would I even bother with going to the marketplace? But the thing is, is now I don't know what uh, the marketplace really helps with. Um, I know I can make some quick cash if I needed to. I can get rid of, you know, excess items or whatever. But at the pricing they was given, for example, the marketplace right now for paper would give us $8 per one, which is fine. We've got 48 of them. So actually those 48 should only get us, what is that, like 384-ish? Something like that, $384 if we were to sell all of that. But my contracts get us 410 just for 40 with eight left over. So the contracts is obviously more lucrative, but how much more lucrative? Probably not that much. Probably not that much more. You know, like the market price of this should be 110 but that's at the market price. So I'm making $50 more here. I'm making $120 more here. So yeah, 
I would easily do that. Okay, so my reputation went up. Earn reputation points by delivering contracts early, completing areas, sorting, selling in the market, and expanding your center. The points you earn will increase your reputation level, and you will get access to more content, waste offers, companies, staff, robots, machines, tools, and upgrades. That's wonderful. And then we deliver that. Now you see we have the lumber guys ready. And they want some stuff. We, the pr market price is 6 bucks a piece. Now, I guess if we do more in the market, we can raise the market rate or something. I don't know. But, you know, 243 is not bad for that. You're making 63 extra. You know, now how many deals do we have to get in order to cover that? I don't know. And you know what? We'll find out next time. I just wanted to start doing this sort of thing. Um, because we're, we're going to definitely do... Uh, um, series on this now we can expand our factory we can expand the machine area the storage the parking lot let's see what else we can do while we're here um, machines these are all level one machines all of them the for top three are 600 these are 800 a piece i want to keep getting as many machines as possible i'm i'm going to take the money i have obviously and expand it into you know expand our factory well if I get this, I may not have enough to get the deals from the next day. So what I want to do, first things first, is I want to look at all the scrap deals, get as many of those as possible, go pick those up, uh, buy, okay, buy new machinery, do contracts. If there's anything in the marketplace that we can probably get away with uh, selling a few uh, of this and that, then we'll do it. You know, don't have a problem with that at all. I want, obviously, you want to get to the top tier machinery. Um, what I want to do also is, let's go back in here, the equipment that's here, lock picking, crowbars, warehouse robot, the recycle containers I want, that's passive um, waste from what I saw. I didn't really get into a lot of these, but I do want to get into them. All I did was to carry more stuff. I didn't do anything else. I really want to get into all that. I want to explore the totalness of what this game has to offer now as far as loans i don't want to do them i just don't want to do them but if i have to is there something real lucrative that i want to get to i will do it okay or if i get to a point where i just have to have a machine or i have to have an upgrade i will do it but i really don't want to do it i don't want to do it um but I probably could, you know, in 12 days, can I cover 280? You know, that means I really will have to do contracts. I probably will have to do more marketplace stuff. Um, but I don't want to do it. <clears throat> I'm just saying I don't want to do it. I, I don't like doing the loans and stuff like that. But if other people's money will make me money, then by all means, I will do it. Now we go to sleep. We see the uh, reflections of the day. I made $24 today, which is fine. Paid my employee, paid bills, covered my, con you know, sold some stuff on contract. I'm good. I don't care if every day I make money or not. You know, it's not, there's some days I'm probably not going to make as much. Why? Because I am buying uh, new machinery, you know, things like that. Now, before we end the uh, recording, which this is probably going to be the shortest one we ever do. I am going to see what scrap deals. Look at this. Look at this. Ton of wood in this one. Almost 50% wood. But there's still some paper to be had. Ton of plastic. More than 50% plastic. But there's still some, you know, paper, wood, and glass. This is basically all paper. You know, this is absolutely great. We need plastic, though, obviously. So we will take this one first and we will go get this one first. We need 16 more. So because we're doing the top, the first tier items, that means we need 16 more kilograms of paper. Now we got two of them sitting there, so we really need 14. This will cover it with the plastic and then some. We'll have about 40 something kilograms left. Now, what that means is yes, that'll probably fulfill another contract or two. Let's go look at the contracts before we even do anything. Lumber, we have some demand here. We don't have the lumber uh, 
thing. But here, they're already asking for plastic bottles, which we can't do them yet. Now, you see the amount of money that these things bring in. That's why you get the fever to hurry up and do the better stuff. So, that means that I probably have to, that's probably a tier three thing. I would think finished products, at least when I was playing, the finished products was the tier three um, machine. The tier two was whatever was in between, but the tier three was finished products. So, I'm not even there yet. That's level 12. I can't even get it if I want it to. So, there's no contract for us here. Here, yes, there is. There's another contract, 54 kilograms. Now, you could say, okay, from the scrap deals or whatever, you might be you, you might be close. I'll be close, but I won't get it. But I do have some uh, of these things in storage. Uh, I've got eight in storage. That's it. So I need another, uh, I'm going to need another 46. So that may take a couple days. But that's fine. So next time we'll come in and we'll grab some more contracts. We'll do some more things. Um, we'll expand a little bit, probably. I wouldn't say expand the the uh, factory, but we may expand um, our machinery. We may grab the wood one. We'll probably grab them in order, just to say we got them. Now we may have to expand the factory because we may not have enough room to put all of them. Okay, because that's that's what I'm looking at here. Now, what I really want is to put the machines this way. And you may be asking me why. Well, because here, it goes in here and it's going to come out here. Which makes sense to me because here's our factory. Here's our warehouse over here, our storage. So they're coming this way anyway. So just to save a little time and whatever, you know, I don't know. That's just the way I'm looking at it. You know, we'll take this pallet and put these up instead of leaving them just hanging out over here. It's not going to make that much difference, though. But And then we've got five on this pallet, eight in here. So we've got 13 of them. We, we, we'll be able to do it. I mean, we'll find a way to do it, even if we have to piece, piece together a lot of deals to do a bunch of different ones. So on that, everybody, I'm going to leave it. We're going to save it here. I hit save. Uh, once again, developers, please allow us to have more than one save. I don't know if I'm, if I'm the only person that needs that, but definitely, please think about it. Um, I would love to have some experiments going on or to just have one that I play by myself without having to put it on the channel. You know, I, I'm just saying, because sometimes I just want to play it, you know, I just want to play it anytime I feel like it without having to record, without having to hit record. So, Okay. Once again, everybody, this is just trying to play it. If you like the video, please uh, leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe for the next one. Leave a comment, you know, about whatever. Anything I may or may not have said in the beginning. I know the video kind of got jacked up. I'm, I'm trying to work on that, okay? I didn't realize that those buttons were so... It's just second nature for me to use those buttons. I'm just saying. You know, don't don't sue me yet. You know, don't, don't get mad at me yet. Anyway, please stay safe, everybody. Until the next video. Take care.